All right, what's up, guys? It's Coop with CNT Designs. I am here because we're going to go through some breaking news today in the gun gun world. I'm going to be breaking news with my friend Richard, my co-anchor, my co-host, the man. All right, so there's been a bunch of stories break around the gun world today. Things that have, I mean, John Crump broke a couple stories. I've got to pick on him about some of the stories because some of the stuff was wrong today. All right. So the first news story is, is a story about Big Daddy, Bag, Big Daddy Unlimited. Say I'm tripping over my words again. All right, so Big Daddy Unlimited is going to go under a name change. They are going now to Big Mommy Unlimited. They will be starting an OnlyFans page. Wait for announcements. The second news story also having to do with Big Daddy Unlimited. Um, John Crump, through a series of interviews, admitted he actually owns Big Daddy Unlimited, and he is responsible for the name change and said OnlyFans page. Um, we tried to reach Flying Rich for comment. Uh, Richard's the one who called him since they both share the name Rich, and Rich was unavailable for comment. The other story we're, we're breaking right here. This is in worldwide news. We figured out the reason that Russia actually invaded Ukraine. Um, John Crump, this is where I have a problem with it. John Crump actually said that the uh, wide open triggers were actually made in Bosnia. Well, they're not. They were actually being made in Ukraine. Knowing this, the ATF subcontracted out with Putin to go in and go ahead and get all those wide open triggers before any of us crazy Americans can get a hold of those triggers. There will be updates on that story coming shortly. The last story is, is we tried to comment or contact the ATF for any kind of comments on contracting with Putin and all that. And all we got was an unnamed source that said that, well, to be an ATF agent, you have to have an unhealthy sexual attraction to dogs. <laughs> And this is what accounts for a lot of dogs being killed during raids. Um, he apologized to all the dogs that had been killed in the heat of passion, and they are trying to do better at this point and maybe get some people interested in cats. Um, that's all the news I have today, guys. I'll be back with some more stories on um, some of the actual bills that I'm covering these days. And you guys take it easy. Later.